Here we are again, back with me, your host, Rohan, and now I'm joined by Josie Henderson. Hello again. Welcome. Glad to have you. Thank you. Always a pleasure. For sure. So a lot of people may not see Josie either because she also lives behind the camera. Josie is our producer, one of our producers here at the UVU Variety Show. And today, Josie and I will be talking about the different places we grew up and different places we lived. So, if I'm not wrong, I feel like I remember hearing some chatter that you lived on a farm? Yeah, so kind of. Okay. I grew up in North Dakota and I lived on a ranch, oh. which had like cattle and horses, but we did raise some crops, so oh, okay. it was like a farm ranch situation. Okay. So yeah, we raised corn or peas or something, depending on the year and the markets. Okay, see, I've always lived in a suburb my entire life. So, in like the Bahamas, it. I was a suburb, New York was a suburb, so whenever I think of people who don't live in suburbs, I just kind of clump them all in the whole rural America pot. And you know, yeah, it's funny because like we do that too. Like, oh yeah, you just live in a city or something. But honestly, yeah, when you live on the farm, everyone starts like finding different sections. Like, oh no, ours is a ranch, ours is like, uh, yeah, a farm or okay. something like that. So out or here in Walla Walla, zoo. how is that compared to back in Dakota? Oh man, North Dakota, so it's the land that's different. Okay. So being out here in Walla Walla, you're only six, seven hours from the ocean, and so your temperature and your climate is so different. Okay. In North Dakota, it's landlocked. In uh, fact, in North Dakota, yeah. there's a geographical center of North America, rugby North really? Dakota. Really? So the weather is just bizarre. There's none of the ocean like side effects to keep it more mild. So it can be blistering hot, um, really humid in the summertime, Oof. so up to 100 something degrees which it does get here, so it gets hot here. Yeah. But in the winter time there, it just will plunge in the negatives. So do you guys get tornadoes and stuff like that too? Because yeah. apparently I mm -hmm. heard tornadoes, tornadoes are just like a Central America kind of thing. Yeah, because of the land and the definitely the air currents. And yeah. so I've seen a tornado and my, my family was there. And yeah, we saw like a funnel come down and then we saw one coming at us in Minot, North Dakota. So okay, so if you've seen a tornado, was it similar to how it was in The Wizard of Oz? Did someone's house get picked up? I need to know. Oh man, I've never seen a house get picked up, but I've heard and watched videos of cars getting picked up. Oh. And then I heard a guy who actually lived through one and he was in the car kind of thing. That's ins I would love he to get him on scary, here for an interview too. Really that sounds scary. interesting. Okay, so you kind of make it seem as though the whole Dorothy thing was just made up. No. Nah, you could pick up some stuff, but you know what? I do get that vibe that it was a little contrived. Okay. You no. Know? Okay. Yeah. Fair point. I mean, great film, but a little contrived. Really good film, actually. It's probably one of my yeah. favorites. Cla oh, I like that. Yeah, it was Classic. really good. It was really good. I'm more of a sound of music kind of girl, so. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So, what's your favorite part of sound of music? Oh, you know, probably the scene where she climbs the steps and she says, "I have confidence in confidence alone," and she grabs her head when she goes up for the octave, and I love that because it wasn't. That was the very first take they did. I'm a big movie buff, guys. And so when the, they went back to that and they had her take that shot, she could only reach that note one time. Really? So, yeah, that was the only time she could do it. So they had to keep that cut because they kept trying to redo it where she wasn't grabbing her head and pointing up, but she couldn't do it in any other takes. So that they ended up with that one. It's just so iconic. Like, I yeah. always kind of like reference it back every now and then in conversation sometimes because, like, everything about the movie is just so. The whole uh, the song when all the kids were leaving the party or something and they had to sing uh, the farewell adieu oh, adieu yes, adieu song. Yeah, I love that. My grandparents still sing that with me. They really? Yep, have a little bit of German ancestry there, and so they. Do your parents live in Dakota? Um, my grandparents live out here by me now, but okay. they're both originally from North Dakota. Interesting. So. Okay, yeah. so we kind of digress a little bit, but now <laughs> let's kind of go back to what I was actually uh, talking about. Back to about. the prairies. Uh, back to the. Have you ever been on a prairie? Yes, I grew up on North Dakota is like one large prairie, except for the Badlands, which is where like the rivers ran and just washed away the prairie. Really? So you're driving, driving, and there's just a huge hole in the ground. Just it's just like a baby Grand Canyon, <laughs> and it's just gone. Whatever happened to the dirt? Grand I think Canyon. it's in Missouri, but it's gone. The dirt's in Missouri. <laughs> it's gone. Okay, okay, so because. You know, same thing, TV is a very big influence on people. Right. Because whenever yeah. I think of these prairies, I think of Little House on the Prairie, as yes. I'm sure most of us do. Mm -hmm. Great series, great book. You know, I haven't even. seen, I didn't know there was a book to it. You only have seen the show. I've only seen probably like one episode of the show. Michael Landon did a good job producing that. but mm -hmm. I think I'm going to need to go back and revisit that. Yeah, the books are really incredible. Okay, who, is a, who are the books by? Laura Ingalls. So she actually used a real name, and the books are about her, and the film is about her, or the, the TV series is about her also. Okay. 
I may need to go back and revisit that. Yeah, and so she really did grow up on the prairies. It's somewhere in Wisconsin, I believe. Sorry, guys, if I'm misquoting that. But she grew up further east, and then she moved out kind of west and settled in the prairies somewhere with her family. So it's basically it's an story. autobiography. Yep, it is. That's crazy. Like, I always think it's interesting seeing people who come from different aspects of life. Like, people live in prairies, live in um, farms, ranches, islands. the suburbs, islands, basically, mm -hmm. and can still all kind of share the same kind of mindsets about certain things yeah. like because we're not actually that different I when agree. you like boil down to it, we just kind of live like i live in a city you live in open spaces yeah um and she lived in the grass yeah. you know <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of similar a house. Yeah. to a bug's life except yep. she's a big bug not dissing her i'm sure she's great but you know she same really concept yeah. same concept yeah that's really crazy though yeah, it's, I, it's like where you can, people just grow wherever they're planted. And they're literally, planted in all kinds of places. Literally. I'd love to, go, are there any prairies out here? I'd love to go visit one. Oh, man, nothing quite the same because the, the grasses are so different. Out okay. here, lots of rolling hills. And, like, and cornfields. If you would go to North Dakota and see what they call a hill, it's like, we are mistaken. I'm pretty sure from North Dakota, we are mistaken on what a hill is because we have little tiny bumps. Uh, little tiny here, bumps. They're big ones and they'll plant on the sides and they'll have combines really? harvest crops from the sides and they're yeah it must be terrifying to be driving a combine at an angle that's like that that's what i think too i what one of my neighbors was driving one and it started to roll on him and he remembers really? being a young man and he was driving it and he looked off and it started to go over and he just stepped off and it lost him okay but well speaking of lost him i think we've just lost a bit of our time so <laughs> Josie, thank you for joining me and talking about prairies and all things related. Oh, give me one more question. I think we can fit it in. Oh, I don't think I can. Can I? I don't think I we'll can. We'll check with the producer. We can run with this. Okay, set. one more question. Okay. Just tell me one rent. What was your favorite thing about living on, on the uh, ranch? Okay, I absolutely love when we move cattle. So we'd go out and we'd take a four-wheeler and we'd have to move from one pasture to another. And we'd sit up on these fours and you had to wait for the herd to come by. And I love that moment waiting. That was the best. And then we'd move them. Okay. Well, wait no more because we're done. Thanks for <laughs> joining us on UView, the new variety show. And we hope to see you again soon. Take care. That's really crazy. Here we are again. So now I'm back with my two guests. Woohoo! It's as mm -hmm. if they never left. Oh, good to be back, Rohan. So now we're going to play a different game. This one, I forgot the name of it, but basically the premise of it is I'm going to pull out something from the box. It's going to have, like, a fill in the blank. I think that's what it's mm -hmm. called. Fill in the blank. That's it. That's right. the one. So I'm going to read the sentence. almost like you would in class, and you have two blank spots, and you have to just, I'm going to guess the two spots, and they have to figure out what it is I'm guessing. Okay, so we're so going to match you. You're going to match me. Okay, we can yeah. do that. All right. We'll okay. just talk it out, Brandon. Okay. I'm ready. I'm going to dive right into this. All right, you dive in. Pull out something wonderful. Okay, and you guys know cheating. Close your eyes. Wait, do we have to close our eyes? How Wait, does it work? it's going to be verbal, man. Yeah, you have to read <laughs> it out. Okay, one blank. Michael looked curiously at his test tube and asked the teacher, is this supposed to be blank? Hmm, is this okay. supposed to be... Blank. So what would Rohan say there? What would Rohan, Rohan ever say? taken a biology class? I think... I probably has. I feel like that's general Science. Class. He's had a science class, yeah. right? Okay. Um, science major specific Maybe we're talking, is, it, is this... Okay, you, you have your answer, right? I have my answer. Okay, and it's locked in? Yeah. Okay. Um, is this bubbling? Is this on fire? Is this... Is, is this, this right? supposed to be purple? Is mm. this supposed to be Okay, is that your red? final answer? No. Okay, um, I think mine is, is this, I hear, I hear Rohan in my head saying, is this right? Is, uh, or if he goes for the meme, is this life? Is that what that, that meme oh, is with the oh, butterfly? Yeah, I'll okay. make that my final right. answer. Is this life? Is this right? Yeah. So life and right. What's, what's your answer? Reveal. My answer is going to be Versace. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Is this supposed to be Versace? Maybe it's a name brand beaker. Who knows? I mean, I don't really take biology classes, so maybe. <laughs> See, I should have known. That far off. So I should have known. Okay, good. Could have been name brand <laughs> Chanel, Versace, Prada. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's slide on to the next person. That's awesome. Brandon, oh, do me? you want to do the honors? Okay, so I do one now. <laughs> I think maybe we can read Brandon's mind. We've been around him a long time. The surgeon okay. said, The man I'm operating on must be a magician. When I reached in to pull out his appendix, I got a blank okay. instead. What would Brandon what say? What would Brandon say? I don't know. I'm think still trying to figure that out. Oh, okay. Or think <laughs> you can guess what I think. Okay, you think hard and pick your favorite that we say. Okay. A sibling? Because you know he has 11 of them. <laughs> 10 of them. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's sibling. Is it sibling? I like that. I'm going to join on with your answer. Yeah? Yes. I think that's supposed to be. Uh, it could be bunny, though. I think it was there with bunny. 
a bunny, bunny yeah. out of someone's yeah, insides. Like a magician. A, like a, oh, magician, uh, that's rather, right. Out of the hat, but, hmm. like out of the, but appendix. What if it's a carpet bag? He's like, is this a... Can you read the last part again? <laughs> when I reached in to pull out his appendix, I got a blank instead. Oof. Spoonful Cookie. of sugar. Deck of cards. Ah, yeah. Mm. Yeah. I'm going with the... I like sibling. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Okay, sibling it is, and I'll say, I'll say uh, an ace, like a deck of cards. An ace, yeah. Okay. All, All right. right. I, I didn't go that, that far out. I just said kidney. Oh. Sorry. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> Doctor needs to... I, I was drawing blanks when reading the blank, so... Okay, oh, I guess ooh, we see who not to have do this game again. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't, think, okay. I don't think very fast don't in spot. Don't let him do surgery. Really Josie, take it away. Okay, here we go. We're going to wrap this up. All right, now remember, guys. Read, read my mind here. In the middle of the night, I heard a rustling in the grass outside my tent. I probably left a blank outside, too. Um, probably left a blank outside? Yep. Okay, mm -hmm. she lives on a ranch mm -hmm. or in, like, the country. So I'm assuming it's something... She left a truck outside? You're in a tent, right? I'm in a tent. She left the I'm tent and outside. And something's rustling she outside. Left the tent she left outside. the tent outside. That's right. <laughs> I um, mean, it's technically not false. Maybe she, she left did. the food outside. Maybe she left the food outside because, you know, she's camping or something. There's food, mm. you know, bears, you know, we're in the Pacific Northwest. True, true, true. Ooh, okay. What if she left the bear outside? She didn't invite him in. That's true. Yeah. I do love Pooh Bear. Yeah. Okay. But. I'm, I'm saying my final answer is bear. Kay. I'm gonna say the truck. I think you left the truck outside. I don't leave my car outside. <laughs> I, if I heard a rustling in the grass and it was kind of scary, I'd think you know, like, like where's my dog? You know, like left my dog outside. I was thinking I mean, dog. Bear. I didn't dog. say it. Like but it's dangerous. Close. I need my my buddy. That's like, really just crazy. In case. Mm. Okay, dog but and you, bear are close. Y'all y'all did okay. You did okay. I think who was Your closer, food the bear was a or good the one. Okay, I, like I think food was a good one as I well. I think I almost changed my answer to food when I heard you say that because it was really good. Also, you think like a weapon, mm. like maybe a knife or like something, mm. a bullet, I don't know. You gotta That's have crazy. something. I still fight that bear and dog were closer. Well, the one thing we're not gonna fight is the fact that the show is ending now. So, <laughs> guys, thank you so much for joining me. Josie, Brandon, always a pleasure. Thank Hope you. Hope to see you guys again on here real soon. Thank you. Thank you all for joining we'll us again around. for another episode of You View Variety Show. And we will catch you next time. Cheers. <laughs>